Tomorrow is chasing new adventures and following them everywhere. Fly Emirates. Hello, tomorrow. The upcoming Northern Provincial Council election marks an important juncture in the history of the nation. Well, this is the first election for the Northern Provincial Council in a quarter of a century. The Provincial Councils were established with the passing of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution following the signing of the Indo-Lanka Accord on the 29th of July 1987. Nominations were called for the Northeastern Provincial Council election between the 3rd and 10th of October 1988. Elections were held on the 11th of November 1988. It was boycotted by the Sri Lanka Freedom Party and the Janatha Vimukti Peramuna. The Tamil United Liberation Front, which was a prominent political party in the north, also refrained from handing in nominations. The United National Party, the Sama Samaja Party, the Communist Party, the Coalition United Socialist Front, headed by the Sri Lanka Mahajana Party, the Sri Lanka Muslim Congress, the Liberal Party, the Elam People's Revolutionary Liberation Front and the Elam National Democratic Liberation Front contested the election. Due to pressure exerted by the LTTE, several key parties did not contest elections in districts in the northern province. The Elam People's Revolutionary Liberation Front won the Jaffna and Manar districts uncontested, while the Elam National Democratic Liberation Front won the Kilinochi, Vaunia and Muletivu districts uncontested. Ballots were cast only in the Trincomalee, Batiklo and Ampara districts in the eastern province. Accordingly, the EPRLF won the majority of seats and Vardaraja Perumal was appointed Chief Minister of the province. As a result of Permal proclaiming the province as a separate state and hoisting the Elam flag in 1990, then President R. Premadasa dissolved the council and brought provincial administration under a governor. As per a verdict of the Supreme Court in 2006, from the 1st of January 2007 onwards, the North and East, which had thus far been functioning as one province, was split into two provinces. Elections for the Northern Provincial Council are being held this time around in the five districts of the province, Jaffna, Vaunia, Mana, Kilinochi and Muletivu. There are 714,488 registered voters in the northern province. Elections are being held for a 56-member council. There are 426,703 registered voters in the Jaffna district. 16 councillors are to be elected from the district to the NPC. There are 94,367 registered voters in the Vaunia district, from which six councillors are to be elected. The Mana district, which has 72,420 registered voters, will have five seats in the council. The Kilinochi district has 68,589 registered voters and will have four representatives in the council. The Mulaitivu district with 52,409 voters will have five seats in the council. Elections Commissioner Mahinda Deshapri announced that 4,989 internally displaced persons are eligible to vote at the upcoming NPC elections. Although 10,243 IDPs had applied for the vote, 5,254 applications were rejected for various causes. These are some of the views that were expressed by members of the public in the northern province where the local economy centers around fisheries and agriculture. The northern province is an important province in the country. We feel that elections must be held under the supervision of international monitors. The Northern Provincial Council election is an opportunity for the Tamil people to win their rights. The Tamil people must make use of this. The lives of the Tamil people are determined by the people, not politicians. The people of this country want to live in freedom with their rights upheld. That is what should happen through this election. We consider this as the first election that will be held for the Tamil people to win their rights. Therefore, all people must unite during this election to secure our rights.